Let me introduce you to the Gates of Central Park, created by Frederick Law Olmsted and Calvert Fox in 1862. These gates were named by the theme of work and categorized by the communities that inhabit the surrounding area. There are 18 gates. They are symbolic and idealistic. The actual gates were planned to close at midnight each night, but they were met with a battle between the designers and the city. The gate project was put, then put off indefinitely. Fox then had an eye-opening thought, how fine it would be to have no gates. The stories surrounding the sandstone walls that now adorn the gate's names only hold the frame as there are no gates to be seen. Vox was quoted in saying, These gates are there and they are not there. This is a classic story that may have been too far beyond imagination to put into place. Barbara Zagorski has taken her imagination and wonderment of these gates and put them into her paintings. She has started her new project entitled The Gate Collection. So wander along through Central Park and open your mind to an artist's perspective of the gates of Central Park. They are truly a vision to behold. With dense history in each painting, they will keep your attention as you embark on a historically beautiful tour among New York City's finest paths. Enter the Chance series and engulf yourself with the gate collection by artist Barbara Zagorski. Named after the workers of New York City and to complete the vision of Central Park's designers, Olmsted and Vox, these 18 gates are there as a meeting place or a landmark. They are representing a time and place to escape from the growing metropolis and enter a world away from the hustle and bustle. They are there, however, you cannot see the gates. They are not tangible, but are more of a symbol, finalizing a majestic project envisioned by two magnificent designers. The gates only exist in their names, and they are the Scholar's Gate, Hunter's Gate, Farmer's Gate, Warrior's Gate, Artist's Gate, Artisan's Gate, Children's Gate, Merchant's Gate, Stranger's Gate, Mariner's Gate, Woodman's Gate, Women's Gate, All Saints Gate, Pioneer's Gate, Boy's Gate, Girl's Gate, Engineer's Gate, Miner's Gate. The first of Barbara Zagorski's gate collection is the Children's Gate. The gate was named for all of the children of New York. After entering this gate and strolling through the children's district, you will greet the Russian-made carousel. While flamboyant in colors of blues and greens, yellows, reds, gold and silver, so is Barbara Zagorski's painting. Depicting also the whimsy, the playfulness of every child can be heard through the layers of laughter grasping to the canvas. Rich in energy with the diversity of colors, Barbara Zagorski's artist rendition of the children's gate has the ability to move you back to the all-consuming imagination once held by the child within. Next is the Mariner's Gate. For all the working seamen that have ventured and will venture into and out of New York's harbors, this gate was named, and rightfully so. Barbara Zagorski's artist rendition of the Mariner's Gate depicts the colors of the sunrise on the water. With the stern reds and yellows that hold as bold as the seamen, with rich blues, purples, and glistening whites that allow for the love of water to enter a sometimes lonely soul. Multiple layers of color adding and subtracting create the illusion of turbulent yet calming sea, and how powerful it truly is. This is the Miner's Gate, the 450 million year old bedrock that grounds the magnificent city of New York has held a heavy amount of hard work. A gate named after the miners of this bedrock there would have to be. The dark, rich colors of the schist and mica-flecked stone made the layering of this painting fall into place for Barbara. The large veins of green quartz and garnet with the scattered crystals of quartz energized the canvas across the grain. These inlays in the bedrock were once liquefied rock that cooled in bands of solid color. Depicting the layering of earthy colors that pull across the crevasses to settle to its final until one day it meets its fate with the miner. And then there is the Stranger's Gate. Reminiscent of the black slate stairway that carries you into the park, this gate opens to a wilderness of welcoming to all immigrants and strangers that have now deemed New York a place for not only work, but also home. In this painting representing the Stranger's Gate, Barbara Zagorski tells a tale of people from all directions coming together. The merging of cultures and colors and the layers of diversity create the layered bond that makes one stranger no longer. This painting, like the illusion of the Stranger's Gate, brings pride now to welcoming the new and old strangers.